Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back with another video. And today, uh, we got a really kind of interesting look at um, a potentially kind of game changing thing here uh, in terms of the world of football. Now, if you didn't know, uh, Canada have decided to get in on the action in terms of professional leagues and they're launching the Canadian Premier League uh, in about, is it in April? Is it in April? It's this month, yeah, coming very soon. So, uh, Phil obviously been really excited, waiting up until midnight in terms of the launch of all the kits for the inaugural season <laughs> of the Canada Premier League. Uh, we're going to run through all them today, but also give you a bit of background on this comp uh, competition because if you're like me, you're not fully versed on what's going on here. I've always done a bit of research into it all. And it's quite a fascinating story, really, because mm. people forget that there is already teams, you know, in the MLS, like Vancouver Whitecaps immediately springs to mind, which yep. I guess is like Cardiff and Swansea being the Premier League. Mm. Um, but what's the story behind this competition in general and the birth of it, why it's there and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, uh, as you say, it's been uh, interesting to research and find out about this league because there's a lot of interesting background. Firstly, the fact that Canada... They're one of the co-hosts for the 2026 World Cup, which was only recently announced. Yeah. So they're going to host with uh, the US and Mexico. So basically, as part of that, in the build-up to that, they've actually thought, you know what, we need a professional league. You know, Credibility gonna, thing, really, isn't it? Absolutely. I guess. If we're going to develop, you know, develop the national team and all this, and right down to the grassroots level, it makes sense. So the Canadian Premier League is essentially geared towards that. But I really like a lot of the things they're doing. So. Um, you know, this is a relatively small pool of teams at this stage. It's only seven, seven teams. Yeah. yeah, apparently there was an eighth which pulled out at uh, last minute. But, but what I really like, and I've had some conversations with the people, some fans over in Canada, uh, apparently the league are really keen to introduce promotion and relegation in the future. Oh, and that immediately... Canadians going against the American yeah, that, way. Isn't that funny? Because yeah. obviously we're so used to hearing about American sports and the MLS and, and they don't have that. And there's a lot of other things which are a bit funny about that there. You know, another thing with the MLS, you know, teams can sort of just move. Yeah. Essentially, if, if there's enough money or that the, the uh, you know, if there's issues around attendance and that sort of thing. But right in Canada, it seems that they're a lot more focused on the community aspect of, of the game. That's good. Um, it has that kind of European feel to it. And that's interesting. It's really it? interesting. I'll be very interested to see how uh, they take to that in general, because mm. obviously they're competing against the behemoth that is the MLS, which is obviously. I mean, it's not as successful as most European competitions, but it's still pretty big. It's yep. still like successful. It's yep. a recognised <clears throat> global brand, and to launch a whole new league into mm. this, the, into the noise that is the football world, is yep. it's so hard to do. And given the fact they're already bigger professional teams already, who's in the MLS? Is it Toronto as well? Toronto and Montreal. Montreal, mm, yeah. um, obviously Vancouver as well. So essentially, you've got uh, three giant uh, Canadian football clubs already. Mm. So they got to go against that. But anyway, they have done this. It'd be very interesting to see how they actually. Uh, get on with this and how it transpires because it's a fascinating concept for a league just mm. to be born out of nothing literally out of dust one day and yeah. there's seven teams are they all new teams? Uh, I believe most of them are new yeah, yeah. I think I think maybe Edmonton is one that we're already well, existing what we'll do yeah. is we'll go through some of these kits because that's what we're all here for anyway in the first place let's yep. be honest we're going to start with HFX Wanderers or Halifax Wanderers uh, now the first thing you need to know is that all these kits have been designed by Macron similar mm -hmm. to the MLS who uh, all the kits are designed by Adidas yep. and Macron have got their little Macron mitts all over uh, this league. Uh, and this is their home kit, their first ever home kit. Is that right? This That's is the new team? correct, yeah. What do you make of this, Phil? Really good. I think these two kits are probably, probably my favourite, actually, um, of, of all teams. I mean, just in terms of the, the branding, actually, in general, for all the teams and the league is really good. And as you say, Macron have made all the kits, and this yeah. is a really good kit. Um, in terms of just... You know, all the designs are unique. That's one thing to note. Mm -hmm. But not just unique, there's some really good stuff. I love, uh, with these two kits, you'll notice that crest there, which is an interesting design. On the home kit, you can see uh, that subliminal pattern. It's the same shape as the crest, this yep. kind of star shape. I love that they've used that. And the away kit, which is possibly my favorite of all the kits. That's really nice. Really nice. And you see that little wave pattern. Again, that's on the crest. So it's, it's a really... A considered couple of designs and I'm just going to shout out to the sponsor which is a really Vol nice Volkswagen flat. yeah that's, yeah. that's what a sponsor to grab on your first one it's a yeah, Volkswagen isn't it is it? actually yeah. they do funnily enough I mean one of the things there's not a lot of sponsor diversity not that it particularly matters there's a couple of teams sponsored by Volkswagen but yeah okay. they, you know about this sponsor we've talked about you know like the Chevrolet sponsor with United how that looks the really ugly the integration of the colour and all that kind exactly. of stuff exactly and I love the Volkswagen this year and they're going to do it for probably their other teams well, Wolfsburg and, and the like they flatten their logo. It looks so nice there. So 
Really good start with those two kits. Absolutely love the kit. I like yep. it. The colours are nice. They're subtle. Uh, the design's great. I'm loving the kind yep. of little the little geometrical waves there. Yep. It's just really, yep. really nice. I don't know what the relevancy is, but <laughs> it's a really nice. That's I didn't good. know there was a Halifax in Canada either. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, like Halifax over I'm sure. More of that to come with a couple of the other teams as well. Indeed. We'll go on York. to York. <laughs> there we go. Straight into there the deep end. York yeah. 9 FC. What's that about? York. I believe the 9 is a reference to the 9. Is that actually what they're called? York 9? They're called York 9. I believe 9 is, there's 9 nine groups of, of York villages teams. or peoples really? or whatever. The, the something... York Nine. It sounds like a Game of Thrones. It does. Well, it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. This one is a really interesting design. It's mad design. It's that. pretty mad. It looks it... like a mashup kit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does actually. Yeah, that... maybe they've gone into the future and pulled back a mashup kit of all the kits they're about <laughs> to make. I like it. Maybe you know, what? there's there's probably nine lines. I haven't counted, but I'm, I'm guessing One, they've probably two, done that. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Oh, oh, eight. oh there'll be nine. Yeah, there will be. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, counted the middle lines. So oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah nine. There we go. Um, and you know, the one thing about this um, interesting little. Um, this is the thing Macron often do. Actually, they've got a kind of pattern behind the crest, uh, which I think I'm not a, a huge fan of. But interesting. Though, it's interesting, it? and from a design perspective, nothing I've seen before. I like, you know. We talk, I like the logo actually. Yeah, it's a bit pro evolution, but it's it, like yeah. But it, I don't know why I like it. Yeah, it is quite cool, and I think the away kit less interesting, but it's still you know. End so of MLS, that I don't know why it reminds me. It reminds <laughs> yeah. me of like something that Houston Dynamos would have if they had that color. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think, I think that, yeah, no. This is a, a much more sort of kind of classic design, but uh, again, uh, it's a unique design. And the one thing actually. The Mac one as the sponsor is quite interesting. Well, what I like about that, yeah. I was just thinking then, is because it's their own kit and because they've got <laughs> they have a professional, professional, ah, professional pride, they'll blend their colours of the kit into it to match it because they won't, they won't put like a, a garish logo. Absolutely. So, and it's, uh, yeah, it's not bad though. Mac con FC. I think it's a bit like yeah. that, you know. But you know what? Like, again, compared to a lot of kits, I quite um, like it. It's actually, it's actually not bad at all. Yeah, it, the hunk is weird, but I didn't. Yeah. I wish the pattern carried them around the back, but oh, you know, yeah. it's a shame. Well, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that's a classic guy. It's a big bugbear for Phil Delves. Yeah, uh, no, good after kids. that, we've gone to Forge oh, yeah. FC. Now, oh, yeah. if anyone's got anyone who's ever moved to Canada at any point, and Phil's got a story about this, I have both our better halves have both gone, oh, I miss Tim Hortons. Yeah. Essentially, my girlfriend lived in... Um, Kind of written Phil's wife lived in Canada for a little bit. Um, yeah. And the old basically just missed Tim Hortons. So this is now my by proxy my favourite team uh, in Canada. Absolutely. Forge FC. Where is Hamilton? Hamilton, uh, I think it's in Ontario. Why is it, um, why are they called Forge, not Hamilton? I believe that Forge is a reference to the kind of steel industry or the kind of the industry um oh, so the leg, well. legacy, yeah. And and you'll notice that actually carried on into the past of the shirt with I believe they're supposed to be little sparks. I quite like it. Yeah, which is cool. I think I just like orange. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Why is orange just such a bold? No, I agree. I think, I mean, there's a little hammer on the back of the shirt there, which I think is really, oh, like really that. sweet. You know, lovely oh, yeah, little hammer. Right, little spark things. And, um, I like the detail in these kids. Well, you know, little patterns are nice. Yeah, exactly. And the crest design is fantastic. Yeah. Um, really lovely kind of angular design. It matches it, yeah. really well with the, the Macron logo. So is that a H? Actually? <clears throat> I believe it is a H for Hamilton, I guess. I'm assuming there's a there's a, supposed to be an FC in there for Ford. I'll, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. but the away kit is um, similarly got this kind of pattern, it's mental, a little bit that. more crazy. It looks um, like um, stonework. It does, yeah. It looks like a low texture graphic on it, a Skyrim it, game. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> well, that's the thing. It, it's this it? kind of like marl, but a sort of low low res marl. Right? I love how you, from yourself you get all this detail. I'm like, it looks like Skyrim. Yeah, like, yeah. Sorry, that's that's, that's it. I guess I get with the, the hammer as well. Yeah, know, fair. But, <laughs> I like. I think it's just because it's got the Tim Hortons factor to it. And, we know and they, they play the Tim Hortons. They the right, play yeah. at Tim Hortons Field. I so, mean, come on. What so we've more got could Macron you FC, Tim Hortons FC. Uh, <laughs> I like Forge though. These are these are fun. These kits though. They are. They are fun. They're fun. They are fun. Uh, which is you know, I guess it's so nice to see some refreshing, fun mm. kits. A uh, mm. bunch of new teams. It's like so you know, like when you get Pokemon and like there's a new generation. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'm showing my nerdy ways. That's great. It's a new yeah. generation of teams. It's a new generation. You got to choose your starter. I like that. Okay, I'm choosing Forge FC. Yeah, Give me that hammer, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the, the Charmander. That's good. Um, <laughs> this is like a great kit. Valor FC from Winnipeg. Winnipeg is a great name. That's just a great place. It is. I don't know yeah. if it's a great place, but it's in Canada, so it will be. <laughs> um, this, to me, looks like a cricket shirt from the 2020 league. Okay. You, yeah, yeah that's I a good reference. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of this, personally. Um, yeah. I can see why someone would like it, actually, but I think there's well, too much going on. These these two kits are probably my least favourite. That's not to say they're bad kits. I no, think there's just not. something, if you look at the away as well... They're a bit messy for me. There's yeah. There's a little I, shoulder bit there popping into it. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. And it a bit kind of dated. I mean, that that collar is interesting. I've seen a collar like that on some Hummel shirts. Yeah. It kind of works quite well, but I think for me as well, the sponsor... 
Um, it sounds silly, but what's because what's it's the only there? kind of white detail on the shirt, apart from the bit on the back as yeah. well. Um, yeah, I don't know what one Could it have been are. the same colour of the actual crest, maybe? Well, the you know what? I think if you did that and took away Obviously. the one soccer bit and just had that circle... Yeah, um, you might, you might tie this up a bit again. It's probably a bit their, too, their brand. Yeah, um, too. the away kit is an, is nicer. I, I think. think it's interesting. Yeah, I think something about the pattern is a bit it's clunky. A, it's a bit Photoshop texture. It's a bit Photoshop it? texture. Yeah, because yeah. I really like. You look at the back; they've got their crest, which is interesting. But I mean, yeah, no, we're, no, that's we're, cool we're being. It, it says a lot that this is one of the worst kits in the league. The it's form, actually still quite interesting. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so actually quite good. Because essentially, we've reviewed so many kits in the past <laughs> year because we worked it, and to see yeah. a bunch of kits that makes you go, "Oh, that looks different." Yeah. It's quite nice. It's Actual just talking nice. points. Yeah, yeah, they're all yeah. so different. So yeah. that's um, the Winnipeg's offering. Then after that, how many we got left? We got we're on to Edmonton, which is FC Edmonton. Um, I quite like this as well, actually. It's quite yep. weird. They're all yep. a bit. They are all a bit texture pack one one, aren't they? But yeah. This this one is a bit like the sort of away of the of uh, four gifs. Yeah, yeah. With a bit of a pattern across the front, but it's pretty it's got nice. A rabbit on it as well. A rabbit, yeah. On the <laughs> yeah. back. Oh, yeah. cute. And it's um. I mean, again, spo- same sponsor as uh, Valor FC, so that kind of you know minor uh, kind of knock a few points yeah. off. But actually, yeah, it's a nice shirt. It's- I think the kits in general at the moment they're going down for ones I like in terms I of think so, yeah. yeah in this I list. do I do like their away kit. Um, so look. Not oh. so much the collar, but I do wow, like the pattern. That pattern. Yeah, I it think, looks like an eye trick, doesn't it? You know, well, it's um, similar to I think Porto had a shirt which is really similar uh, recently. I like the colours; it's very clean. Really I think bold. yeah, I think again with a better sponsor. Um, you know, it's a so really I, good I shirt. I personally think the sponsor looks a little bit better on this one than it does on the others. Sure, it, sure. it pops a little bit more, so it it's, it's yeah. it doesn't try and blend in. I think that actually yeah. almost kind of works. But I think, I, yeah, I like the kit. It's yeah. quite nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Little details, the rabbits on there again. The little <laughs> weird, yeah, I like the little kind of mm. jagged texture thing. Then I think this is this is the final one. I think there's two more. Two and more very interesting ones actually. Uh, Calvary <laughs> actually in Calgary. Why is it like Calvary in Calgary? Is it one of the French versions? Uh, What's that about? I I think. I'm not sure, actually. That's a very good uh, question. That's, that's question. That's not there. a typo. That is actually the team name. Is, yeah, is Calvary. Cal- Cal- Cavalry or... or Cavalry, yeah. Cavalry, actually. Um, but, yeah. Not Calvary. That's, that's the one like. we'd have to find out. <laughs> I like this kit, so, actually. Well, this this one's probably the most Canadian, it's, obviously. It's like you know, an inverted Peru, isn't it? Or is it yeah, not? Yeah, actually. Is it Peru? Yeah, this is a bit... No, you know what? That's a good shout. And Thank the you. sash is a really... Um, it's a really nice design, obviously. Um, the sponsor, whilst it, it breaks up the sash, at least it's very Canadian. They've done it there. very well. They've as done well. it well. They've done it really well. And Colour like, and, and the placement is good. They give it so, yeah. a nice placement, yeah. yeah. And also, I love the way the, uh, the the crest kind of the colours inverted, and you know, yeah. it fits so nicely into the. And, and there's something I don't know. I'm assuming there's a bit of a military link because the sash and even the crest design, and you'll see the away kit as well, has a sort of slightly military yeah, I'll give you that. feel to it, which I think the sash is perfect for that. Even the crest, it's got a kind of badge, you know, sort of. Um, the design of it looks very much in, in keeping with the rest yeah. of the shirt. I'm loving this. I've never seen any of these kits before, so it's great going for the yeah. first time. So this is the away kit. Yep. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's very... It's, it's very camo. camo. Yeah. I'm and not again, a fan of this, to be honest. I think, I think it's a bit... The, I think it's bad. I don't I don't like these colours. I think, you know, it's a bit like... This um, looks like... Oh, no. But, but at least, you know, at least we're sort of talking about something new again and I think um, yeah. I think the camo the, it, was, it reminded me a bit of some of Adidas's stuff in the MLS with the kind of almost glitch camo thing this, this, this going on bad. it's too much going on here to me for me personally this is, this is a bad shirt yeah. I can see it's definitely creative but yeah it's a bit Homer Simpson when he makes that car <laughs> uh, it's a bit there's so much going on here like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Sorry guys, yeah. this is the one I, the only one I've disliked yet. I think so far, but I think it's just the camo texture on a football shirt. Right, if you like I'm, colour, just prepare for the next one. I'm go just, on, just I love colour. Say. Like, and um, and this, so is, this is this is well, this is this Vancouver is Vancouver I mean. Island Pacific FC. Wow, oh, I like this. There we go. This is and this it's is got a, a little Aquaman trident it's got as well. A trident, and I love this sponsor, even though it was That's the same. Class. Really like sponsor that. and the away is almost as good. Look at that not, crest better, as well. Really sharp crest. I don't know. It looks almost like a kind of. You know, like you get like a crystal in the game, or like it's a so like, like a crash so like, um, Yeah, Norse mythology esque. <laughs> yeah, very, like. very good. And I mean, the colours are really vibrant. Um, and the away is kind of a, an inverted colour scheme as well. Let's have a look at the away. Um, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's pretty well. crazy. Um, it's not as nice as the home kit. Not as nice as the home. I think. I think as a as a combo though, really, really oh, bold. So strong. I'm really loving bold. that home kit. I think yep. it's just such a. The trident makes it to yeah. us. The trident's yeah. not on there. It's ten times less interesting. What is the trident about? I guess it's something to do. Well, it's, it's a it's a way isn't it? Yeah, I and and I think I think it's interesting because you know, despite there being the Vancouver Whitecaps, um, obviously this team is sort of I guess not not stepping on the toes, but they're sort of 
It's a big and, team for so, yeah, yeah, exactly, and and kind of serving that wider community, and that that's what I like is that a lot of these teams. Um, there's a few that are in, in big markets, some in smaller places there, like Halifax. We talked yeah. about. But this is great. I mean, it, if you want some of the most memorable kits of the league, it's these two. Yeah, I, I, I quite like the away shirt actually mm. as well. The pattern, the texture is really nice. That yep. kind of rushed kind of line mm-hmm. kind of thing going mm-hmm. down the blurry. It's nice. I mean, I'm not sure on the collar personally, but mm-hmm. I can, these are all renders, obviously, that we're looking at here as well. I can imagine in person, they look a lot nicer than they do in yep. the actual thing. But these are fun. That is um, a fantastic bunch of kits. Yeah. Just fun, and, isn't and it? And you know, like, this is this is a lot of people, and I've had conversations before. They sort of say, "Oh, the worst thing about um, the MLS, for example, is that all the kits are made by Adidas." But the problem isn't that they're all made by Adidas. It's just that Adidas aren't being as creative as they could be. Yeah. So good on Macron for showing that they ca- it can be done. You don't have to. And you know what? Have different manufacturers. Macron's little thing is really nice as well. It's like yes. kind of logo. So and more really Macron kits. Yeah, they they rebranded this year, didn't they? Yeah. It's always any. Oh yeah, it is. So they it? they I think I can't remember what they called it. Sort of the the new hero or whatever, which I thought was great. This kind of. Quite quite cute little Macron logo, which they've sharpened up and made it a bit more serious, which yeah, is good. I absolutely love that. That's a hell of a bunch of kits from the uh, Canadian Premier League, which is launches at the end of April. Um, let us know in the comments your favorite uh, favorite team. Essentially, yeah. you got to choose a team, <laughs> choose Pokemon a team. style. <laughs> let us know who you've gone for out of all those teams. I absolutely love uh, looking at those kits. It was great fun, guys. If you're new to Footy.com, essentially Phil and I sit here and we talk about kits, boots, all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty much several several times a week, a lot basically <laughs> about from three four videos a week usually so make sure you subscribe uh, if you're just in general talking about football culture and all that kind of stuff anyway my name is Stephen this is Bell and we will see you soon